Hey everyone! So this is going to be the first part of a two-part holiday mug series. And in this one, I'm just going to be showing you how to make the basic coffee cup. And in the next video, I'll be showing how to make different drinks out of those mugs. And I'm going to be starting out with Fimo Soft Red Clay and the pasta setting on number 5. And if you don't have one, you can just manually roll it out by hand. And I'm going to be just cutting out the clay into the mug size that I want. Go ahead and piece those ends together. And once you've done that, fit that on a surface and make sure that it has enough room on the inside so that the clay doesn't stick completely to the tool that I'm using, which in my case is another ball tool. And I'm going to be using a separate ball tool just to smoothen out that surface and connect those ends together. And it's okay if you're, um, that area is a little bit rough because you'll be covering it with the handle anyways. And I'd also do it for the tops and the bottom. So once you've removed that, just smooth out the inside also for extra security. And go ahead and start twisting one end. And just pinch it inwards until it has just a tiny hole left. And assumably this is going to be the bottom of the cup and now you're going to fill in that remaining gap with excess clay that you've pinched in. And you're just going to drag your ball tool inwards on the bottom of the cup. Now I'm going to be making the handle of the cup and attaching it on with a blade. And since a blood blade leaves lots of blunt marks, you might also want to smooth that out with a separate ball tool. And that's it! So I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial because I've been getting so many requests on it. Um, in the next video, I'll be showing how to decorate these mugs and how to make them into different holiday drinks. And you can sort of see that I've started to work on them by making all of these different toppings that I could put on them. And I hope you guys enjoyed! Let me know if you'd like to see any other tutorials and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed because that really helps me out a lot. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and thanks for watching!